71 TIB uh, and a 44 Ocean that I bought. And for the first time, we actually ever rebuilt one of these, uh, David and I. So I kind of, I never see on YouTube much about 671s other than maybe adjusting a rack or something like that. But as you can see right here, uh, each cylinder is, has their own individual head gasket, which is basically this ring right here. So what you do is just put this over and this head is gonna uh, kind of crush it a little bit and then become your uh, head gasket. And then these are the individual like water jacket seals right here. So they're pretty easy. You just want to make sure all that's cleaned out. Um, you just put those in place. This don't have to be perfectly clean, but just take a screwdriver and um, take a screwdriver and just clean around the edges here. And make sure that, that you don't get anything down in here. We usually have uh, uh, lint-free cloths, the ones that you wash your vehicle with. Um, there's two figure eights, one on each end, two figure eight O-rings that go right here. One on the front, one on the back. Uh, each cylinder comes up and down these holes, if you look down here, this one's on the downstroke. There's a special tool that fits right in here. It collapses and then there it gets in that hole right there. It'll come out, spring out. And then you rotate the front of the engine and it'll hit it. And this whole sleeve will come up out of here and then you finish um, pulling that out right there. This is a rebuilt heavy head. Um, it's about maybe 300 pounds, so it's pretty hard to get in there. You gotta be real careful. We pulled it out with an A-frame we built right here, but uh, putting it in the back's a lot easier since it's uh, free. So, uh, you know, as you can see, we didn't have to take off the exhaust. Uh, basically, you gotta take off the governor on the side, which is pretty simple, maybe 15, 20 minutes. A rubber hose and then the um, fuel filter housing right here has to be removed. Um, and then a couple hoses back there. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, 185 pounds of torque on the um, boat heads um, and then once you get all this on uh, we still got the bottom pan off so I want to put this on here first because if you drop any bolts or anything down here oh, man it's it's crazy to get that out you got to be very very careful not to do that so always have like as you can see we got a bunch of these here so you always want to have those covering that up but right now we're, we're about ready to um, um, go back on with the head we had to remove it because we had a uh, the engine wouldn't rotate on us and all it was is one of the main bearing caps was turned around um, wrong and it was supposed to be turned around inboard so all your, you'll see these little notches on all your bearings all those little notches need to be inboard side. This is your outboard, your inboard side. So all notches on all your bearings that go in your caps, make sure they're inboard. If not, we found out the hard way after putting everything together and then I had to remove the bottom, the head, everything to get down to figure out why is the engine not rotating. So first time we ever did it, um, it's coming out good. Um, as far as parts goes, new head the other one was not good so found the head for a thousand had it rebuilt for 1500 decided to put new uh, 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 injector tubes in it since we're rebuilding might as well go ahead and do that so it's a little bit more expensive but it's worth the while to uh, make sure everything's done proper and uh, so this is honestly this is about a um, if you've done it before maybe a two and a half day job two people you know, so not bad. Well, hopefully that was uh, helpful to you since I never see anything online that much about these older Detroit 671s, which are great engines. So. And they're, they're, they're a wet sleeve, so as you can see, you can individually pull out each cylinder without having to have, on a lot of these newer ones, you gotta take the whole block out, the whole engine basically. And, have it honed out or get another block if it's bad on these you just pull out the 
the uh, sleeves will just come right out and hone it out, flap another one back in and put it back together. All right, hopefully that was helpful to you.